Here we have 6.3 simplifying a radical expression with an odd exponent. And so then we're going to do the numbers the same. So 18 is 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. And because I'm doing a square root, I'm going to put the pair together in the front. So 3 squared. And then the leftover guy, the 2 in the back. For the variables, it's different, right? For the variables, we do 5 over 2. So then we simplify this, which is just 3. Square root of 2 stays square root of 2. And then 2 goes into 5 two times, but with 1 left over. So then we have um, these two guys will, are not in a radical. This is a radical, so these two guys will go together in the radical. So you end up with 2 and y to the first power inside the radical. So it's like a little invisible 1 there. And that is the final answer here. So it's just finding the pieces and then putting it together. Similarly for 28, we know that that's 4 times 7. This guy's prime, this is 2 times 2. I am doing a square root, so I want to put the pair together. So we're going to have 2 squared and then the square root of 7. For the variables, we do it differently. It's going to be 11 over 2. These cancel. I get 2. Square root of 7. 2 goes into 11 five times, but with one left over. And so then this is just the square root of w to the first power. That's what I get for trying to write backwards. And so then it's just a matter of putting the guys that are outside a square root together and then putting the guys that are inside the square root together. And that's the final answer. So the 2 and the w to the 5th are outside the square root. So those will go together outside. And then the 7 and the w are inside the square root. So those get multiplied together inside the square root.